Hi, my name is Carlos Eduardo. I'm a Risk Five ambassador and also a cloud architect at Red Hat. Today, I'm going to talk about containers and Kubernetes in the Risk Five architecture and show a demo of Kubernetes, a container orchestration platform running at the Sci Five Unmatched board, a Risk Five computer. Here. I show a, a, a brief uh, overview of the cloud native landscape. Each of these boxes are applications that are part of the CNCF umbrella, applications that composes uh, all the cloud native infrastructure, ranging from the container orchestration itself to services providing more uh, uh, products for uh, cloud native developments. Uh, for more information, check the CNCF uh, website it has the details of all of these applications. But what we're going to talk about today is Kubernetes on RISC-5. Kubernetes is the main product for container orchestration using, used by multiple vendors. And I've been uh, working and compiling uh, Kubernetes for RISC-5 for a while. Today, I'm going to show a demo of uh, MicroShift. It's a lightweight uh, Kubernetes distribution created by Red Hat uh, Emerging Technologies Group that's still in development and is completely open source uh, on GitHub. I'm going to show it, it running uh, at the Sci-5 uh, matched board. Uh, for a long time, I've been building multiple container images that are based for uh, the applications required to run a, a cloud native. So I have uh, the base Kubernetes applications, some demo images for Echo, for example, OpenFast, that's a function as a service platform, some monitoring containers, and many others. I have all of them in my Docker Hub account. Uh, we've made a lot of progress, re progress recently. Some, most of the components are already upstream, but we still have a, a lot to, to do. Uh, mostly focusing on the official distros, having uh, both um, official distribution of the packages and also the official images for these, these distributions, mostly uh, Fedora, Ubuntu, Debian and Alpine. Debian recently released their images for the, uh, unsu the su uh, not support, totally supported uh, version and we are already working on Fedora uh, distributions. Also, uh, we have a lot of projects that need to start be built by default for Risk Five, and it's a job that will be done after the images for the distributions are partly done. Uh, I'll show Red Hat MicroShift. As I saw, as I said, it's a community uh, you can see at microshift.io. Uh, all sources are open at uh, GitHub, and you can join the Slack channel as well to talk to us. Uh, it's a project that's being run by the emerging technologies and the, mo the focus is being a lightweight Kubernetes distribution for uh, e EOT, or IoT or Edge solutions. Now I'll show a little demo of the, 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 the microshift running at the Sci-5 board uh, and some applications as well. Here in this demo I'll show microshift a lightweight uh, Kubernetes distribution that's in development by Red Hat uh, that's totally open source running uh, in the Sci-5 Unmatched board. Here is the Sci-5 Unmatched. It's running currently uh, Ubuntu Linux on kernel 5.13 uh, and the MicroShift service is running. Here, some cluster info about Kubernetes. It's running, the control plane is running. And we get all the nodes. You can see there's one node, call it unmatched. Get some details on the node. Here we can see that's running on Ubuntu. It's running Kubernetes version 1.20. There's some new versions available. I still haven't built them, but we can see that's running on the Arc uh, Risk V64 on Linux, and we have all the information and my my IP as well. We have a Flannel network running, and uh, all all status is is is, pretty, is running fine. 
so it's ready to receive uh, workloads. Now we are going to change to the other uh, screen. Let's show all the pods that's running. We have four pods, that's uh, five pods, that's part of the, the control plane. We are leave some status here. And uh, I'm going to deploy a simple echo application that only shows uh, hello world in, uh, in a web browser. So uh, let's deploy into the namespace. Here we create a namespace called demo app uh, deployment using my uh, echo demo image that's on Docker Hub. Uh, we expose the service. We can see here the service start already started in demo app echo. Now we're going to create um, uh, an ingress to access it through web. I'm going to paste a small ingress configuration. You can see all the ingresses. We have ingresses called uh, demo app and we can curl it. We I run it on a different port and here I have like hello world. Hello, I'm running Echo inside a container on Linux RISC 5 uh, 64. This uh, demo app is on my GitHub account and it's running, uh, uses uh, Golang as development. Also, uh, I can uh, run OpenFAS. OpenFAS is a platform, uh, a function as a service platform that can uh, invoke different functions and runs in your cluster. So uh, I'm gonna deploy all the required manifests that I have here. We can see here all the new containers starting in my unmatched node. We have all, no, uh, all containers created. They are still in process of starting up. I'm gonna declare, create a password that OpenFast re re uh, needs and create a secret to hold this password. Here I'm gonna just echo the password. Uh, once it's deployed, we can then deploy a function into it uh, that will pr uh, create like a figlet that's uh, a, it, it will print uh, the message I have. Almost all containers are running. This fast idler is the last one that usually goes up because it depends on the other ones. That's why it's in currently in crash loopback. In a few seconds, it will be up. I'll grab the command. Here I'll declare the connection to the open fast, the URL uh, fast for the fast gateway. We can see that they are all running and uh, we can get all the ingress ingresses that's currently running. So we have it for the fast gateway. That's the URL that I use it right here. This is the default port that's exposed. Uh, now I'm gonna log in into the, using that password that we created. We created we just log it in and now check open fast version. Fast clear version. It's talking to the gateway cor correctly into that uh, URL I'm running. It's not the latest version as well. Probably there is a new one. This is the one I built the containers for Risk Five architecture. And uh, let's check if it has any functions. No functions deployed. We can see no functions listed. I'm gonna deploy a small figlet function. We can see that it will, create, it will create here a container for the function, figlet risk five. This is also hosted on Docker Hub. Uh, I have it already running. And now we can see, oh, oops, sorry. We can see the function running right here. One invocation, zero invocations, one replica. So we can see it currently deployed. And now we can, use the figlet function invoking echoing some phrase into the fast click invoking the function and here you have hello risk 5 summit i'm running open files on kubernetes in risk 5. pretty neat now also we can see that it's already have one invocation and login into the web url
Here we have OpenFast portal using the same URL. It's a GUI. And we see our risk our risk five figlet function here. So we can also invoke from the GUI. And invoke it. And we have its output right here. Hello risk five summit. And then we can also check it and it has two invocations. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. Please get in touch. Contact me on Twitter at CarlosEDP. I also write some articles at uh, carlosedp.com and you can follow the progress uh, of the project at these links. At uh, GitHub, I have the Risk 5 Bring Up project that I track all the submissions and, uh, and projects I've been working on Risk 5 and also the images uh, you can find at, um, at Docker Hub. Please get in touch.